Sneaker Fiends, what's going on? It's your boy Dallas Penn. I'm making a little vid right now as a shout out to the folks at Finish Line. Thank you, Finish Line, for those Nike Air Max Fly Knit. Those joints are definitely a fireworks. Uh, my folks at Finish Line asked me, they said, uh, DP, could you talk about one of your favorite pairs of Air Max? And uh, I said, dope, dope. Um, man, I love every, <laughs> I love almost every iteration of the shoe. Uh, from the first uh, Air Max in 1987 uh, to the current models that featured that uh, total airbag um, throughout the foot. I figured what pair would I bring out that would kind of, I guess, connect the past and the present. Somewhere right in the middle of the history of Air Max is this shoe right here, which is the Air Max 2003. The Air Max 2003 is super light on your foot and it also provides a total Air Max bag from the heel to the toe. I can see some of the uh, some of the pre Air Max 360 elements where they're they're figuring out this cage um, at the heel and they're figuring out how to to make it lighter and eventually how this will even be stripped off and we'll completely just see that airbag run from the heel to the toe. I like the shoe because one it has a narrow um, profile but it actually the footbed is pretty wide now I've got wide feet so I like that it looks narrow it makes my foot uh, look slim but it provides uh, it provides me support and comfort on my entire foot it doesn't pinch me Okay, now the insole of the shoe, uh, because these were released as part of the Evolution of Air series, they, uh, the insole describes uh, the history of Air Max. There you go, the, the 87, the 1, uh, then we have the uh, 90, then you have the Air Max 180 in 1991, the 93, 95, 97. Then they, they jumped to the 2003, and then in 2006, we had the Air Max 360. Also, let me show you the, the, the flip side of the insole, okay? I mean, that, that's also the key to Air Max, is, is the good looks on the outside of the shoe and all the tech that's working on the inside of the shoe to make that ride comfortable. So I mean, as, as Finish Line celebrates the history of Air Max and, and I guess the legacy of Air Max, um, my offering to the discussion is the Air Max 2003. Okay. And um, listen, enjoy your shoes, and don't forget once again, get down with Finish Line's Winter Circle Rewards Program. All right. I keep pushing that because, I mean, who else is going to give you a reward at the end of the year for the shoes you bought? Finish Line is doing that. Okay, so get with that.